why UK government must clarify its decision to detain Bobby over alleged impersonation. Rofai Semi. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In the wake of the uproar, that greeted reports that the Labour Party flag bearer Peter Obi was recently detained by British immigration officials over an alleged case of impersonation. Renowned television anchor and the political analyst Rafai Oseni has come out to share his thoughts on the issue, and these have generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. As we progress, you get to understand what Nigerians have said concerning this statement made by Rufai Oseni. Recorded on Wednesday, April 12, 2023, the country media space was awash with reports that Obi was detained and interrogated by security operatives while attempting to the UK via the London Heathrow Airport last week Friday. It was gathered that the former Anambra governor was told that his passport had been duplicated and someone else was already in the country with his identity. He was, however, eventually released. Speaking during an interview on Voice of the People FM on Thursday, Rafai described the actions of the British government as strange, but refused to attribute the incident to the current political situation in Nigeria. Going further, the renowned TV anchor insisted that the UK must provide clarification on why he chose to detain a man who has not only lived in the country for decades, but is also a well-known figure among British government officials. We all know it is a political season, and there has been some high stark politics being played in Nigeria. The question we should ask ourselves is, Obi has been going in and out of the UK and has ever lived ever lived in, in, UK, in, in, in the country for so many years. Why is it this political period that somebody is impersonating him? So this is another one. Why is it that is this political period that someone is now impersonating Peter Obi? This man was going in and out of the UK during campaign season. So why is it after elections that someone would choose to impersonate uh, him? The UK must clarify this issue. He is a well-known figure among the high-ranking British government officials. A lot of people are saying it is political, though there is no hard evidence to buttress that point. But there has been some push for him to leave the country recently. I would like him to investigate further. We, who are those impersonating him and where is it coming from? I like to talk based on evidence. People are saying it is political, which hurt, but there is no evidence to back it up. But the UK must come out to clarify why it detained Obi. They must investigate and bring the perpetrators to book. All of this harassment is just in tandem with the political season, he said. So guys, what's your take on this? Record that on Wednesday, April 12th, 2023, the country's media space was awash with reports that Obi was detained and interrogated by security operatives while attempting to the UK via the London Heathrow Airport last week, Friday. It was gathered that the former Anambra governor was told that his passport had been duplicated and someone else was already in the country with his identity he, he was, however, eventually released. 
Speaking during an interview on Voice of the People FFM on Thursday, Rufai described the action of the British government as strange, but he refused to attribute the incident to the current political situation in Nigeria. Going forward, the renowned TV anchor insisted that the UK must provide clarification on why he chose to detain a man who has not only lived in the country for decades, but it is also a well-known figure among British government officials. Nigerians have this to say. UK is not as porous as your Nigeria. So stop making it look like Peter Obi is so special and cannot be held down by immigration. It is a procedure, so don't abuse the mind of Nigerians by making the issue sound political. So you will tell us, Tunubu arrange it, Abi. But you hear when he said he cannot say it is political because there is no evidence for that. If actually someone is personating Peter Obi out there in London, the, the, the British government should, should provide those people who are doing that. You are accusing Tinubu now, not him. Exactly. He's special. He's special because he has been traveling to UK and schooled in the same UK. So APC and bad UK people does not want him as president because of their resources they are getting in Nigeria. Simple. Exactly, my brother. And they should clarify who impersonates Peter Obi in London, please. UK government is evil, enemy of Africa and black continent. Uh, uh, con continent. These are reactions by Nigerians. I beg your pardon. Uh, pardon. Please, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.